Before we start this video, I would request you all to support my channel Adam's Tech Guide by clicking on this red subscribe button right below this video. Once you guys click on this red subscribe button, you will see this bell notification icon right next to it. Please make sure you click on this bell notification icon and click on this all in order to get the notifications and the updates for my future videos. And last but not least, if you guys like my videos, please click on this thumbs up button to show me your love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shabazz here from Adam's Tech Guide. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you all how to make a bootable Windows flash drive using your Android phone. Now this video comes handy to all of y'all because suddenly the Windows got crashed, you don't have access to your computer and I was having no machine to make a bootable flash drive for Windows operating system and in that case I got stuck. Now in that case, I use my Android phone, download the Windows image file from internet and then I use an application which I'll show you in a short while. So that application writes the image file into the flash drive and make this flash drive bootable. So that's what we're going to do today. Now there are two requirements, there are two prerequisites I can say. Uh, one is to have an OTG cable which will help you connect your flash drive to your Android device. Um, I'll be using this card reader in, in today's video which will uh, be helpful first. Uh, the second requirement is to have a Windows image file, the operating system image file, the ISO file to be more precise. So you need to go to internet and download the image file. Those are the two requirements which you need to have ready in order to get the work done. So enough of the talking already, let's hit the intro and get started with the video. let's start the video first off you're gonna have to go to internet and download an image file for your Windows operating system once you have downloaded the image file you can save it in your phone and then you can proceed further to install an app which I've mentioned earlier so just open the Play Store and uh, install this app called DROFUS search for this app on the uh, on the Play Store uh, and th you will find this app just install this app once you have done installing this application go ahead and open this application so once the app opens you might see advertisements as well because it's a paid app uh, we are using it for free so there might be a few, uh, few ads which come up on the screen so you're gonna have to just uh, skip those ads now you see that I've already got two coins uh, credited into my application that's because I have watched the ads so you have to open the home screen of the app and you have to connect the flash drive to your phone as you guys can see it's you know the light is getting lit up that means the app has detected my uh, uh, my uh, my flash drive so uh, yeah it's giving me option to click on ok so I'll just click on ok here and it will detect the flash drive which is connected to the phone and I have to come down here it says uh, disk or ISO image uh, we have to keep it on disk or ISO image here we have to click on pick ISO so this will help you to search for the image file which you have downloaded for Windows operating system I have my Windows 11 image file right here I'll just click on it just keep this partition table uh, GPT UEFI boot and now you're gonna have to just scroll down uh, just check mark this box which says high speed mode recommended now once you're done with this we are all good to go now you just have to click on start in order to start the process now once you click on start it will ask you to watch the video or advertisement you can just watch it twice and it will credit two coins in your application which will help you to get the work done we can click on start here and uh, it will say that all the data will be formatted uh, cost two coins to continue uh, since we have already gotten two coins so I can just click on OK and it will start the burning process. It will give this red colored statements right here and as you guys can see uh, the process has been started. So I'm going to keep my phone aside now and I will wait till the time uh, the application completes uh, the process and uh, the flash drive is ready to boot. So guys, as you can see, the process has been completed successfully. Now we'll have to just click on OK and our flash drive is ready to boot. Now, uh, guys, uh, we're going to shift to our computer screen to see if the flash drive, which we have prepared just now, is booting successfully. Let's disconnect the flash drive from the phone. 
and I'm gonna connect the flash drive to our computer and see if we are able to boot into the Windows setup utility. So guys, this is my computer monitor screen and uh, I've opened this PC window. Now here, these are the drives which are connected to my uh, computer. Now I'm gonna connect the flash drive and we'll see if the flash drive pops up here. Okay, I have connected the flash drive and let's see if the flash drive pops up. Okay, yeah, perfect. So it has opened the EFI folder of the flash drive directly. Um, I'm just gonna reduce the brightness and this is the uh, uh, this is the operating system folder, uh, the main folder. So I'll just close the window and I'll show you that we do have uh, the uh, bootable flash drive right here. As you guys can see, uh, it shows Windows 11 Pro. This is the uh, uh, OS partition and this is the EFI partition for our uh, flash drive. So we're gonna close the window and uh, I will restart my computer. Okay, let's just go ahead and directly restart the computer. I'm going to do that. Right click here and uh, just restart the computer. So as this is the server motherboard, that's why it takes a while for the uh, option to come up. Okay, so this is the uh, boot device selection uh, page. This is the EFI partition of our flash drive. The boot EFI partition of a flash drive. So I'm gonna just go to this partition and I'll click on enter. Let's see if our Android device has successfully created the Windows bootable flash drive. So yeah, it's booting from flash drive and I'm sure this is booting into the Windows setup utility. Okay, so this is the setup page. I am going to select my language English. I'll go next and I'll click on install now. Let's just make sure if it works fine. If this passes the window, that means uh, we have successfully created our uh, bootable USB flash drive for Windows 11. So I'll just click on accept the terms and I'll click on next. Uh, okay, let's go to custom install. Okay, perfect. I have reached till this point. That means our Android device has successfully created a bootable flash drive for our Windows 11 operating system. So guys, that's how you get the work done. Uh, if you don't have any computer apart from the computer which you are using and suddenly the operating system got crashed so this process is a workaround you guys can use your android device to make a bootable flash drive for windows operating system and you can install windows you can reinstall a fresh copy of windows onto your computer to get it working again i hope this video was helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video if you guys have any questions to ask you guys can write down your questions in the comments box if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up thank you so much guys again for subscribing to my channel if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to adam's tech guide for more useful videos like this thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll talk to you guys in the next one Peace.